Tuni Robots is the annual robotics competition held at Tunisia's National Institute of Applied Sciences and Technologies, INSAT. This year, engineering students from the whole country showcased their robots. We have made a robotic arm. It can help the disabled and the elderly. Anyone can control the arm with a mobile application. It is very simple. The 24-hour challenge gave only one day to teams from many universities to develop and build their own robots, while the Tuni Robot Survival is a competition between autonomous robots which defend their territories. With a lot of competition, we want to make robots accessible to the public. We have a lot of competences. Tunisia can become the robotics hub of the African continent. Workshops were organized for school children to encourage the younger generation to learn new skills and to be creative. We've made a line follower robot. It can recognize colors and numbers. It is an amazing experience. Now I can save energy while using the robot. I can play with captors and engines to make my robot. The Association of Young Geniuses of Tunisia is a non-profit organization. It invests in science and technology. Its founder is a university professor who aims to make children love and learn robotics. I teach engineering students at university. I'm also working with children on robotic projects. Every day I discover young talents and future engineers. Many engineering students believe that the private sector can contribute to creating research centers at schools and universities. Events like Tuni Robots could be organized with limited budgets, but the impact would be positive on the community. Every year, dozens of Tunisian engineers and specialists in robotics travel to Europe, Asia, Canada and the US for research projects. Some return home to share their knowledge, but the majority stay abroad. Adam Shoshi, CGTN, Tunis.